variables. Variables let us store and load information. In other words, we can read from and write to a variable with data. This lets us use the data later on. In the example code shown, the variables are cups sugar, eggs, and cups flour. You can think of a variable as a box that holds data. That data could be a number, a string, or any type of data. After the data is put in, we can take it out later. Anywhere that you use literal data, you can replace it with a variable. In this example, we have extracted the math expression to a variable. That variable can then be used in subsequent lines. Variables in computing are very different from variables in math. In math, a variable is an unknown that we are solving for. In computing, we always know the value of a variable, but we are manipulating it. A variable value varies over time, but according to instructions that the programmer has written. That means that you can change the value in the variable, even though that wouldn't have been possible in math class. Variables are defined by their name. Names are absolutely crucial in programming, and choosing them is an art. Names are best when they are accurate, meaningful, and concise. We use good variable names to communicate clearly not just with other programmers, but with ourselves as we try to figure out code that we have written. Of course, computers do not understand variable names. Their meaning only matters to humans. There are two rules for naming variables. First, names can only have letters, numbers, and underscores. Second, names must begin with a letter or underscore. You can use underscores to serve as spaces between words, since spaces are not allowed in variable names. Although there are only two hard rules, we have five suggestions for good variable names. You might find it helpful to remember them as the five C's. First, variable names should be clear. Some looking at the variable name should understand its meaning without needing additional explanations. Second, the name should be concise, meaning neither too short nor too long. Third, the name should be correct. Although this may sound obvious, far too often programmers will let a variable not accurately describe the data the variable holds and refuse to fix it out of laziness. The last two suggestions are for variables to be consistent and conventional. Being consistent means having the same style throughout the program, while conventional means the same style as other programmers. When we say style, we say things like using certain abbreviations or using underscores consistently in place of spaces. There are many other kinds of stylistic choices, but we'll learn them as we go. Many novice programmers don't understand the value of good variable names. They are eager and excited to write programs, willing to cut corners in their haste. Sometimes this means that they will choose variable names like X or K. What do those variable names mean? Who knows? Certainly not anyone coming to read the code later on. Don't be lazy in picking variable names. Yes, having to actually think while coding is unpleasant, but sometimes we have to do hard things.